Hello, I'm Alexander Bard. I'm 51 years old. I live in Stockholm, Sweden. I write mad books like this, and I love all the campus heroes of the world. Uh, the presentation here at the campus party in Berlin was wonderful. Uh, there were three times more people in the audience when I finished than there were when I started, which I think is a good grade. Um, it, it's horrible to have a full audience when you start and everybody's left when you finish. So it was the exact opposite. I had a very engaged audience. Some of them are sitting here. And we're now continuing after my speech and moved into dialogue mode, which I love because I love the fact that I can go to conference, give a speech, and then I can talk to people afterwards that improve my theories even more. So my next speech can be even better. So I tried to practice what I preach. I tried to be an interactive human being. So what I talked about today is the, uh, the Futurica trilogy, which just came out in the US. And it's the, finally, all three books that I've written with John Sedeklist have been translated to English. The Futurica trilogy consists of three books. One is called The Netocrats, one is called The Global Empire, and one is called The Body Machines. You can buy them separately or you can buy them as one. And I would recommend the e-books and not the paper books like this old-fashioned paper book. They're more comfortable to have on an iPad than to have as a paper book. But anyway, uh, The Netocrats is a book that deals with the ongoing technological revolution, which is, of course, the internet as a technology, and what it does to us and how we have to rewrite history and we have to rewrite the idea of what it means to be a human being because this is the fourth main revolution in human history and it completely changes everything. So that's the, the theme of the Netocrats. The Global Empire is a book that deals with how our worldview has to change. We had a concept of what it m meant to be living in a world before. Uh, of course, physics, ha physics has changed that completely over the last 100 years. We now realize that there's an enormous universe out there to begin with, and very, very tiny little creatures within this big universe. But the internet even more affects us in this way. We even think of the world today both as a physical world and as a virtual world at the same time. And they operate together. So we go from the physical experience to the virtual experience, then we go from the virtual experience back to the physical experience. So the internet is like a new layer over the planet. And if you combine that layer, which we call the net, with, with the physical world as it is, then you get what we call the global empire. And that's why the book's called The Global Empire. And it has a lot of theories on that. What's going to happen to politics? What's going to happen to religion? What's going to happen to metaphysics? What's going to happen to a lot of different things because of this revolution? And the third book is the one directed to the reader, him or herself. And it's a book called The Body Machines. And it deals with how the concept of being a human being changes completely. We study all the philosophers that have discussed existentialism before. We study Nietzsche, we study Heidegger, all the best thinkers of the previous paradigm. And then we compare them to this homo interactivus, this new creature now that steps out, who is individual much more than an individual. It's a very schizophrenic type of being that has a lot of different personalities, that, that lives mostly online, and then in a secondary world, which is physical. It's a complementary world to the online world. And this, of course, is, is a very, very different human being from the human being that Descartes or even Nietzsche or Heidegger discussed. So we need a new philosophy, a new ontology, a new phenomenology, a new understanding of what it means to be a human being. And we open up that discussion with that book, The Body Machines. I think, I think the most important aspect of the campus party is not speeches like mine. The most important aspect is people meeting. And I think the networking effects of everything we do today is always the driving force of everything. I, 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 don't, know, I don't know if people, Camposeros are really conscious of the fact that going to Berlin to meet a lot of people. But the fact that you meet your old friends and you meet new friends and you expand your friendships and you expand your connections, you expand your own networks. And that encourages you to be more creative and to be co-creative with others. Because creativity in the internet age is not about you isolating yourself, coming up with a brand new idea. That's not going to happen. The way new ideas are being developed today is that you see yourself as one building block within a bigger system of people. And together with your friends, you create your own community, your own subculture, and that community becomes creative. So you are co-creative. You're creating with others. And this process of creativity is constant. It's fluid. It just runs on and on and on. It never stops. You can constantly redevelop and change things. If you use terms from the music industry, you would say that you're constantly remixing everything. Everything is being remixed and remixed and a new version is being put out all the time with new partners being involved and changing things. And we love this process. It is very human. It, maybe it's more original when it comes to creativity than the idea of the isolated genius was. The, the auteur in French, which I think is a completely dead idea. You know, 
anything from factory owners, copyright holders, to even fashion designers are dead now. The, the idea of the fashion designer is dead because we're all designing our own fashions now. We, we design them when we walk into a clothes store. We, by our behavior, we design the next generation of clothes. So all the old patriarchs are dying, all these old artists are dying, and the idea of life as a work of art is now a co-creative communal process where we participate with others. The message is that I am a 51-year-old guy and I'm trying to understand what's going on in your 23-year-old heads. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you one thing, your parents get nothing. They don't understand anything what's going on in your life, in your head, in your life world. Your life world is so alien, so completely different from theirs. Don't even talk to them anymore. They don't get it. They don't get it. Just give up on them. Just let them die and take over the world. That's what I would recommend you to do, campuses.